This is the Old Premeds Podcast, session number 80. You're a non-traditional student entering the medical field on your terms. You may have had some hiccups along the way, but now you're ready to change course and go back and serve others as a physician. This podcast is here to help answer your questions and help educate you on your non-traditional journey to becoming a physician. Now, whether you're a non-traditional student or a traditional student, this podcast will help you, especially if you're a female or if you're a male getting ready to be married or have a relationship with somebody and you're thinking about having kids. Now, we take questions directly from the oldpremeds.org forms. If you haven't signed up for an account over there, go do so. It's oldpremeds.org. Click on forms, sign up for an account. It's free and it's easy. So the question today is coming from a student who is asking about being an old premed but wanting kids too. Now, this isn't a situation of wanting your cake and eating it too. This is a situation where if you want to be a pre-med and a medical student and a physician and you want to have a family, especially for you women out there who are thinking about this, it's usually the women that are thinking about it and not the men. Um, if you're thinking about this, especially as a non-traditional student, but even as a traditional student, as you are planning out your path, I'm sure for you traditional students, if you're listening to this, watching this, however you're consuming it, if you have told anybody about your dreams and desires to be a physician, you've probably been told, but but don't you want a family? I'm sure a lot of you have heard that. And the reality is that every year, women enter medical school, enter residency, and they have kids. It's amazing. This, this wonderful biologic, uh, biological process of of having babies and keeping our species going. It's, it's natural and it doesn't get put on hold in, if, unless you want it to be put on hold, but it doesn't get put on hold for medical school, for residency or whatever. So let's go ahead and I'm going to read the question and then we'll go in and answer the question. So it says, hi all, happy I found this site and shout out to Dr. Gray, that's me, and Medical School HQ for pointing uh, me here in this great podcast. Wait, something. Anyway, uh, I'm a 34-year-old woman turning 36 tomorrow. Happy birthday. And after a major life event last year, have felt that my true calling is being a physician. I have a, uh, a couple science prereqs left to take and the MCAT and some great docs lined up to shadow over the next few months to confirm my desire to be a doctor. If I stay with this track, I'll apply next year for a 2019 start. So applying in 2018 for 2019. By then, I'll be 38. Oh, no. And my boyfriend is super supportive of me, coming a doc, of me becoming a doc, but we are also getting serious about getting married and having kids. Wondering what you all think about starting med school and having babies in the same few years. Anybody have young ones or planning to at the same time as medical school? Yes, I know it may be crazy, but is it still doable? Short answer, yes, it's doable, definitely doable. Now, if you are not part of the Hangout, I highly recommend you become one. The Pre-Med Hangout on Facebook, medicalschoolhq.net slash group. Go there and search for, or don't search for, but... Uh, type a message and try to tag Jessica White. Jessica was a student of mine. She was on the podcast several months ago. She got into medical school, got into 10 medical schools actually, and um, and she got married, started medical school, and had a baby her first year. Is it easy? Heck no. But having a baby isn't easy, period. Having a baby in medical school is even less easy, but it's doable. Now, I teach a little bit at the medical school here in Colorado, and one of the students that was teaching with me, this, this special course that they have, communications course, one of the students that was 
teaching with me was a fourth year student who had two kids during medical school. And she took off a year for each kid. Now, the school obviously had to grant her that, and she made it work. So she took longer to finish medical school, but she felt for her, it was the right decision for her and her family to have the baby and stay home and raise the the infant until uh, a one-year-old or whatever it was for when she went back to school and reintegrated herself into medical school and then did it all over again with a second kid. And now she's going on. She matched in psychiatry, I believe. And now she's going to go do her her residency thing. So it is doable. Is it easy? No. But again, having babies isn't easy. It's just one of those things where you're going to have to prioritize your time. You're going to have to be very good at time management. You're going to have to be be very efficient with studying you're going to have to have a great support system around you and you're just going to have to deal with with being crazy for a while. Uh, But it is, is, is doable without a doubt. So I hope that helped. Again, very common question that comes up for women, um, usually women that are interested in going to medical school, being pre-med, being physicians, and they have that lingering question. But What if I want to be a mom too? I would highly, highly recommend. Um, I I don't think they allow any pre-med students at this time, but go check out Physician Moms Group, PMG. It's on Facebook. They have a website. It has, I think last I looked, it was like 68,000 members in it. Paula Sabri is the founder of it. She's an ER doc, an ED doc. She has three kids. And I had her on the pre-med years podcast back in episode 201. And I think you have to be at least a medical student to join. So go check them out and see, because that's a huge resource for students uh, that are thinking about going to medical school and being moms. It's, a, it's basically one huge support group for women, physician, moms. So go check that out uh, if you haven't already. All right, I hope that was helpful for you. If you got some enjoyment out of this, out of today's podcast, I would love for you to share this with somebody. That's what I ask for in return. These podcasts are free for you to consume every week. And I just want you to pass it along to somebody who you think would benefit from it. So if you're in a post back program, if you're in, a, in, a, in an extension program, wherever you are, go share this with your classmate, your advisor, whoever. All right. I hope you have a great week. Please check us out next week here at the Old Pre-Meds Podcast where we'll take another question from the oldpremeds.org forms. Until then, go check out all the other podcasts we have to offer. You can check them out at mededmedia.com. That's M-E-D-E-D media.com. Have a great week. We'll see you next time.